A super volcano is stirring in the USA and scientists are very worried. And it's not Yellowstone. If this eruption happens, it would change the whole world. We take a very close look at how likely the eruption is and when to expect it. If you find this interesting, I'd be delighted to get a thumbs up and a comment at the end so we can get the algorithm to show this super important topic to even more people. Thank you friends and welcome. A restless rumbling beneath the earth, seismic activity in a region that is slowly deforming. Are these the harbingers of an imminent eruption of a supervolcano? We're not talking about the well-known Yellowstone, but another American supervolcano, the Long Valley Caldera in Eastern California. Have you never heard of it? Then it's about time because this supervolcano is highly active and has what it takes to plunge the world into chaos. On the surface, the Long Valley Caldera consists of an impressive crater east of the Sierra Nevada. Hence the name, because a caldera is a roundish depression created by volcanic activity. And the Long Valley Caldera is the second largest caldera in the USA after Yellowstone. This makes it one of the largest calderas on Earth. Today's caldera and the characteristic landscape were created by a super violent eruption 760,000 years ago. At that time, 1,400 cubic kilometers of ash, pyroclastic material, and lava were ejected. This resulted in a huge ash deposit that covered large parts of eastern California and reached as far as Nebraska. I mean, look at that area. This eruption created a depression that is 540 square kilometers in size and is 300 to 1,000 meters deeper than the surrounding region. You can just imagine how apocalyptic this eruption must have been. Well, now some of you may be saying, so what? That was hundreds of thousands of years ago. Who cares? Unfortunately, it looks like another eruption could be imminent. The US Geological Survey operates its own observatory, the Long Valley Observatory, LVO for short, to monitor the activity of the caldera. It was long assumed that the supervolcano had taken a Luwong rest and that there was no real danger. But as in every disaster movie, this was of course deceptive. Geological conditions have been changing for decades. Seismic activity has gradually increased, and in recent years, the whole thing has taken on worrying proportions. Geophysicist Ashton Flinders from the US Geological Survey says, Our data suggests that there have been significant magma inflows since the last eruptions 76,000 years ago. This means that the supervolcano may not be as inactive as previously thought. And I don't know about you, but that worries me a little bit, because having just heard how massive the eruption of 760,000 years ago was, it's clear that another eruption of that caliber would have a global impact due to the release of ash. The southwest of the USA would of course be affected the most, but air traffic would also collapse globally and there could even be climatic changes. Geophysicist Birger Gottfried Luhr from the German Research Center for Geosciences agrees and says, if the eruption is of a similar magnitude as 760,000 years ago, years ago, we must expect global effects. So it is high time to get to the bottom of the increased activity of recent years. Is this the sign of an eruption or could there be other causes? A research team led by the aforementioned geophysicist Ashton Flinders has taken a very close look at this. I have of course linked a published paper below the video. They see two possible processes inside the volcano as potential causes for the uplift of the Earth's surface in the recent past. Possibility one, the liquid magma core is approaching complete hardening, which would be accompanied by an expansion of the colder rock and thus raise the Earth's surface. So that would be the optimistic version. According to this, we are now experiencing the slow calming of the volcano and an eruption would be unlikely. Unfortunately, there is then a second possibility. Pressure is building up inside due to gas and liquid magma that cannot escape. This pressure could be released in an eruption. So which option is it? Option one, please, please, possibility one. Well, it's possibility two. No, God! No, God, please, no, no, no! The research paper says, Although we cannot distinguish between magmatic intrusion and mobilization of excreted fluids as the driving force for the recent uplift at Long Valley, we can conclude that the mid-crustal reservoir is still melt-rich. Geologists tend to express themselves in complicated terms. That is to say, whether this is the cause of the recent activity has not been established, but it has been found that there is indeed a lot of magma bubbling inside the volcanic system. There is no sign of inactivity or dormant phase because it is still going on, and here it comes. 
We estimate that the reservoir currently contains enough melt to support another supervolcanic eruption comparable in size to the caldera forming eruption 76,000 years ago. So the volcano is still active, contains a lot of magma, and the mass of this volcanic material is also large enough to cause an apocalyptic eruption. These are the kind of results you want in your research work. Of course, this does not mean that a major eruption is just around the corner. In order to better assess the Danga, many other factors would have to be investigated in more detail. Further drilling should be carried out to find out whether the molten magma mass is collected in a large single reservoir or whether it is spread over several small reservoirs. An eruption also depends on whether the reservoir continues to be fed by new magma inflows from the Earth's interior. And if you're not worried enough yet, there's more. There are other extremely young lava fields in the vicinity of the Long Valley Caldera along the nearby Mono Inyo crater chain. So completely independent of the activity of the Long Valley Caldera itself, there are other magma chambers in the area, and these alone are active enough to cause strong earthquake swarms, for example. Consequently, the entire Long Valley Caldera region is classified by the US Geological Survey as a very high threat, the highest risk category used by the agency. So it remains exciting and for the time being the only option is to continue monitoring the seismic activity. I will of course keep you up to date as soon as anything happens, but to make sure you don't miss it, you should definitely subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, you'll never miss another galactic video and you'll help me immensely. Thank you so much guys. Not so far away from the Long Valley Caldera off the west coast of the USA is the Cascadia subduction zone. Underwater earthquakes have occurred here in the past, triggering gigantic tsunamis. And here too, scientists are worried and believe a mega tsunami is possible, which could severely affect the west coast of the USA or even Japan, depending on the direction. You can find out how high the danger is here and how so-called mega thrust earthquakes occur in the video shown, so be sure to take a look. And if you want to support my work, then click on the Astro Shop and get the shirts from the videos and real meteorites. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.